So we have Gilbert Urbina versus Charles Radke. Gilbert Urbina, seven and two. He's three and two in his last five, coming off of that KO victory over Orion Kose. Charles Radke, eight and three. He's actually five and zero oh in his last five, coming off of that decision victory over Blood Diamond. Charles Racky is actually 33 years old, so he's actually uh, older than Gilbert Urbina is 27, but Gilbert will be the taller fighter here and have a reach advantage. Gilbert Urbina is a minus 200 right now, opened up at a minus 155, and he actually was at one point bet to a plus 130, so a lot of wild movement, line movement for this fight. Gerard, I'll let you start off the main card breakdown here. What do you think about Urbina versus Raggy? Yeah, this one, I'm I'm going to be picking Gilbert Urbina here. I think overall, he's just the more dangerous and better fighter. But I do think Raggy is probably, probably the more high higher IQ fighter. I mean... In his last fight, it was underwhelming against Blood Diamond. He couldn't really take down Blood Diamond that much. And I'm a little suspicious that Radke, that was probably not the best Radke showing. So he's probably much better than that. But again, I think the size and athleticism of Urbina and the youth mixed in with just the resume of experience that Urbina has shown in his past fights, even through losses. I'm more impressed by Urbina than I am for Charles Radke, now that Radke's 33. I I see a path where Urbina can possibly blast through Radke in this fight. And Radke, Radke may have that submission threat, maybe find Urbina's back. But I think for me, I'm just I'm gonna side with the the more dangerous guy here, the one who's been in there with with quality UFC opponents. So my pick here is Gilbert Urbina. I think the size just might be too much for Charles Radke in this one. So that's that's my medium confidence pick on this fight. Yeah, I was going back and forth on this fight um, myself. Gilbert is a solid fighter. I think that he's actually just all offense, though, and just very little defense. So he pumps out a nice pace on the feet. He has below average striking defense, though. I mean, his striking defense is 47%. So he definitely pumps out a high volume, has a 60% striking accuracy, but he takes in a lot of shots as well. He does have a good ratio, though. He lands 6.33 strikes per minute and absorbs 4.09. So at least he strikes landed is higher than the strikes absorbed. His grappling is similar, though. I mean, he's a solid offensive wrestler, does a good job mixing in the strikes with the takedowns, but his takedown defense is actually below average as well. I think that you know, in this fight, that that could be a problem just because Charles, he's mainly a wrestler who likes to pressure forward, and he's a good grappler overall. I think he's able to transition to dominant positions quickly. He does have submissions in his toolbox. He's able to stick to the game plan and shoot for takedowns, grind against the cage, and in the clinch. And it's really, he just has a grinder kind of game plan and mindset, right? He commits to it. So I think that that could be an issue for Gilbert here. Now his striking, Charles, he likes to advance forward. He does have power in his hands, some good hooks, uppercuts, those kind of strikes. I think that his striking defense is also below average, and he likes to weather storms and uses durability. So, I mean, I think that honestly should be probably a little bit closer in, in this fight. I will say that I think Gilbert will win, but I'm just not confident either fighter to actually make a high confidence prediction. So I'm probably going to stay away from this fight. Pick here is Gilbert inside the distance. But I'm, I'm most likely staying away from this fight here. 